my uh, talent uh, amongst the world and um, and and to get that get that one back like I promised the kingdom the first time um, I, I I wasn't able to pull the trigger but here I am again a second chance to be able to pull the trigger so I'm looking forward to doing that finally giving the kingdom one of those uh, excited a dramatic knockout. Deontay, uh, after the last fight, a lot of people said maybe he hasn't got the passion no more. Maybe mm. Deontay doesn't want it no more. Mm. Your name was again mentioned at all for a long time. Just respond back to them critics and people that were talking like that. My name wasn't, as I see it, my name been mentioned in, since I've been in this, in, this, in this business. I don't think my name has never stopped being mentioned because I'm the hardest punch in boxing history. The things I do to a human being in that body is none other than, than anyone has ever done before. But I can say I did lose, lose the passion. I lost the love of this business because of multiples of things of, uh, 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 that have occurred. But at this moment in time, my fire has been relit, you know, especially coming to the kingdom, being able to be accepted for who I am. And um, to having that passion and being able to speak like I want speaking with my heart, allowing my mouth be the translated to what my heart is saying as a warrior. I only tell people how I feel as a warrior, you know? Why you, you can't live, you can't live, live through me, but you can, you, can, you, can, you can live with my words, you can visualize what I'm seeing as a fighter because all fighters are different. And my mentality is of a killing mentality because when I get in the ring, we risk our lives for others' entertainment. And if people don't accept the brutal, the savagery of me, uh, uh, then you're just as guilty as me. Whatever I say, you pay to watch me do what I say I'm going to do, you know? So when I bring, so when, when, when people try to drag my name in the dirt or try to crucify me or try to bring me down because how violent my mouth has been because of the vision of a champion, having a champion heart, when you go to war, you ain't trying to have no survivors. You're trying to eliminate every piece of them if they're the opposite of you. You understand me? And that's what I, dis that's what I speak about in display. But when you have people that accept you for who you are, it makes you bring that back. It makes you be relit, your fire, your desire in your heart. And I'm so happy to be here because you guys accept me. Deontay, when you look at this fight with Zhile Zhang, what should everybody expect? What challenges does he pose to you? Ah, man, you know, I, I, like, I like Zhang, you know. I like, uh, I like his fighting style. Um, I like his big head. It's going to be a big target to hit. Uh, at least an easy target to hit. And um, I, I love that uh, we're both, this is like an NRBR be all type of opportunity for us. And when it's like that, it's like you get the best of, of both fighters, you know, because this could be the end of my career. It could be the end of his career. And um, it's going to be exciting to come Saturday night to see what happens, you know. Like he said, you got Chinese power against Alabama power. At, one, at, at the end of the day, we know the power ain't going out, but somebody likes Will. Deontay, for this time, for this fight, you are the matchroom captain on the matchroom side. Um, we know the back and forth yourself and Eddie Hearn have had. When you had the first uh, sort of initial approach for this fight and knowing that you'd sort of be under the Eddie Hearn banner, was there any apprehension for yourself? Not at all. You know, I, 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 I'm a type of person that I love change. And uh, that's what we need in the world. Um, a lot of people in the world can learn from this. It's change. you got two different people that, uh, you know, uh, back and forth at each other, you know, and, and, and now working with each other. And that's what I feel the world as human beings, I feel we all need each other. And the only reason that we're at war with each other, different cultures, different regions, uh, different religions, different things, is because we don't understand each other. But if we can come together and have an understanding, we can work with each other. Because business is business at the end of the day. And when you work with each other, you may find something that you may like about that person. You know, you know what? He's all right. You know? At first, I couldn't see it. But when you come together and you're dealing business, you'll be like, you know, he, he, he may be all right. And, um, you know, I accept this opportunity. And I accept being the captain of the other team as well. And uh, it's so funny, you know, because I love, I love change. I love being amongst change. And... This could, could end up being a great relationship at the end of the day. Uh, I do feel that uh, Eddie is a promoter, and what promoter wouldn't want to promote Deontay Wilder? 
and one of the most savage, one of the, the knockout artists of our generation, of our time. You know, I think he dreams, dreamt about promoting me, and his dream has came true, at least for this moment in time. What did you make of the undisputed then between Tyson and Alexander? Um, I thought it was, you know, I thought it was a great fight. You know, I was on the fence of, of things. I didn't know who was going to win. You know, I always think it's, it's, it's what dog bring, what bite to the fight. And um, Alexander's bite was bigger than his. And I think he got robbed in the night round of a knockout for sure. You know, gifts, gifts, gifts was given, you know. But um, at the end of the day, you know, he won. And um, congratulate, big congratulations to him. And I wish him nothing but the best moving forward. We got a bomb squad. Bomb squad!